Kia ora, it's your girl Anna coming to you with another Mind Health Monday episode and today we're talking about exercise. I know, exercise. Who's excited? Clearly all of us. I promise this is not me trying to get you to do an eight week challenge or how many burpees are physically possible within a day. This is just a little info and encouragement of why moving every day in some description is super helpful in improving our mental well-being. The research shows that when we move for about 30 minutes a day as a minimum, and you can break that up, you can do it at different times, it doesn't all have to be at once, we release two key chemicals that are mood boosters, endorphins and serotonin. They literally increase your mood and make you happy. What a way to really quickly and really practically boost your mental health. So, so good. It improves your emotions and it improves your mental health. What a win. The other great benefit of exercise is that it pumps more blood to your brain and that increases your thinking. It gives clarity. It also increases your memory. That's a cool thing. And so when we are releasing those chemicals, we're getting more oxygen moving, where our blood is pumping to our brain and around our body a bit more, we absolutely feel so much better than if we hadn't moved at all. And even the research is suggesting that if you're someone that struggles with anxiety and depression and stress, then moving every day for 30 minutes is a huge contributor to combating those struggles. How cool is that? Simply moving increases our mood and our mental health. You know, I so believe that God created us to be people that move and not people that just sit and do nothing. And I have my days where I like to sit and do nothing, but I promise you that when we move just 30 minutes a day, it so boosts and improves our mental health. And I don't think I know anyone who's ever regretted doing some form of exercise. You never hear someone say, I wish I hadn't gone for that run. What you hear is people saying, I really need to go for a run. I really wish I'd done something today. So be the person that actually does what you know is helpful and beneficial for your body and for your mental health. It's so simple. Just moving every day is going to improve our mood and our thinking ability. That is a win-win. My pro tips, and I am in no way a professional, a workout human, but I did train full-time for three years as a dancer, and that's like a lot of exercise every day. So I know a thing or two about moving. My pro tips are pick something that you like. Don't do that exercise that you absolutely hate. Just, you know, we're not working out to become totally like shredded fit humans. We just want to be healthy. And so going for walks, win, win. Low impact on the body, great for the mental health, gets you moving. Maybe you like bike riding. Um, if When we hit level three, you can go swimming. That's a win. Uh, out in the ocean, that is. Unless you've got to pull it home. That's ideal. Maybe you like Pilates or Zumba or a dance class. There are so many different ways that you could move. Or maybe you do just really like a good old sweaty workout. Pump the iron, whatever you've got at home. Use a bag of rice, use some cans. Just get moving. It's going to help you. It's going to increase your mood. It's going to bring mental clarity. It's a win-win on strengthening our mental well-being. Pro tip number one, pick something you like. Pro tip number two, move with someone you like. Maybe you want to pick a walking buddy from within your bubble. Maybe you want to do Pilates with your siblings or your spouse. Or maybe you want a workout buddy who's going to encourage you to go that bit extra harder on the press-ups or whatever it is that you're doing. Um, and then pick a time that works for you. So I know that if I move in the morning, the rest of my day is so much better because it just wakes me up, it releases those endorphins and serotonin and it gets my brain thinking, so that's a win. And so I'm a morning kind of person, but I also really like in the evenings at the end of the day doing something little to move as well. So pick something that works for you and do it with someone you like or maybe you're using this as an opportunity to get away from everyone. I get that. Do that too. Um, and then pick something that you like doing for movement. And maybe even try something you've never tried before. Prior to lockdown, I hadn't gone biking since I was 10. I've been biking lots and it's super, super fun. Like I low key love it. Might be buying myself a bike at the end of this. And so um, just pick something you like, move with someone you like, pick a time of the day that you like. And I promise that if we decide to move every day of some small portion, 
we're going to feel better, we're going to think better, and then our mental health is going to improve. And it is a win, my friends. So exercise is the way. Do something, let us know, comment what your favourite type of exercise is and what you're trialling out this um, lockdown to increase that movement in your life. Maybe you want to do a dance class. Who knows? I did just remember that there are a few great opportunities for us that Les Mills is offering free classes. I know that Centre, there's like an app by one of the Hemsworth brothers, um, that guy that plays Thor, if you're into, you know, that stuff that he's doing like a free six week trial. Go and look up who's like giving you free subscriptions at the moment because of COVID-19. Um, or just get out there and do your thing, whatever it is, whatever you need to move well and to move often. That's the motto, keep it up team. Mind Health Mondays, let's go. Have a great week.